Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today we're going to be talking about Fortnite storyline, Fortnite changes, and content which has been announced throughout the community in different sections, which I want to get into in today's video. We've got some interesting topics to point at, and we've got a brand new map potentially coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, which I do want to discuss a little bit because they've got a little theory behind it and something which might be a little bit disappointing to most people. So I recommend staying tuned for that. That'll be later on in the video. But anyway, let's jump straight into this video. If you guys want a shout out in future videos, just remember to go and enter code post box pat into your item shop and tweet me at post box pat or message me in my discord down below anyway the first thing which i've included in the thumbnail is what i want to show and that is the stone people so we had a male and female version of these stone people and they are starting to rebuild themselves or someone is reconstructing them and these stone people are going to play a huge part in the season 8 storyline now a lot of people disagreed with me that the stone people kind of indicated what was going on on the map at the time and you know guys let's be honest from the reactions from the stone people that's what i think was kind of giving us the warnings for season eight you know we had the stone man he actually pointed towards polar peak at one stage and also when the volcano is being spawned in the stone man and the female version which we'll fly over to right now were both looking at each other trying to get each other's attention like thinking uh oh what's going to happen here they are waving like quick come to me and the other one was like no come here and obviously they can't move because they're giant stone statues but that itself could have been a part of the season seven storyline and it could have been indicating everything and that's what i think anyway throughout the season seven storyline i do believe that they were kind of signaling different things that are going on when the storm was coming for example from this direction over here the stone man actually put his back to it and put his hands over his eyes so an interesting concept there it didn't happen like instantly it just happened over a few weeks these small changes but they're just kind of little things hinting towards something happening so are these rising ready for something we don't 100% know but I'll be sure to carry on covering these in map change and storyline videos when they change but is official in today's update these stone people have both started to grow out of the ground you can take a look at this screenshot on screen right now here are some screenshots of them previously obviously they've advanced from this now and they are now slowly starting to get out of the ground which is really exciting information regarding the season 8 storyline I assume these will probably indicate or hint towards things that are going to be coming again within in the season eight storyline you know they usually change direction they usually get each other's attention this time that's not going to be able to be the case because obviously we have a huge volcano between them unless somehow they manage to move now that would be pretty weird but you know fortnite could do anything so that potentially could happen i'm really excited for it but that's it for everything regarding the stone people we also had this brand new marshmallow screenshot that you can see on screen right now this was just announced for anyone that owns the marshmallow skin apparently there was a few issues with the marshmallow skin Skin, so they decided to release this kind of loading screen type thing for everybody which i think should have been a loading screen at the start of the event but obviously you've got it now if you own the marshmallow skin i got given it before which is really awesome we also have a few new features which have been added in today some notable changes for you guys which i'll just quickly go over is obviously the brand new map which you can use to find the treasure x marks the spot i think that's really awesome and when you unlock that treasure you're guaranteed legendary loot every single time however it's a race to find it obviously you've got to get the treasure map to know where it's going to be unless you get lucky i'm not 100 percent sure on that getting lucky i don't know if you have to have the treasure map in your inventory to mine it you'll have to tell me that one down in the comment section down below but you know you have to sort of grab this sort of stuff to gain the loot anyway so getting the treasure map in the first place is quite difficult i've only had one in team rumble unfortunately and i couldn't actually go and get the treasure because it was inside the storm other things which have been announced as well was the bottle rockets got vaulted this was something which i thought was not really a major thing no one really used bottle rockets anyway so it wasn't really the end of the world we'll probably see them returning in ltms though but they weren't very useful in my opinion but i guess you could finish people off with them and it was funny other than that i didn't really see much use to them at all also the fork knife it has been killing people in battle royale i didn't expect this at all you know the fork knife which is located over by fatal fields i covered this in one of my map change videos i guess it's just some sort of issue which fortnite have had with it i'll fly over to which you guys can see it right now but the fork knife which is just located here located here outside of fatal fields is obviously going to be a risky place to go and land if you're going to land there at the minute because you're going to get killed <laughs> i would not land there at all i would completely avoid that 
that until Epic announced they have fixed it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I do think it's interesting to see these sort of things happening because obviously it could indicate to something in this area that potentially could happen in the future. I do think the fork knife as well will be eventually a challenge within Season 8. We'll have to see if that's going to be the case or not though. Also, for those wondering about the Omega skin, it has kind of been confirmed that it may come back into your Fortnite challenges. There has been a few people getting it on their screen and stuff, a few leaks there and then. You can see a screenshot of that on screen right now. In last night's item shop, we also got buyable batblings. We've had buyable batblings for quite a while in the free pack set where you could buy free batblings with one purchase, but now we officially have the first single batbling available in the shop for 200 V-Bucks. I think when this starts happening with other skins, I feel like a lot of people will sooner invest in batblings than skins, and that's because one, they're a lot cheaper, Two, you can switch out batlings and still keep your favorite skin. And three, sometimes it's not always worth investing maybe 2,000 V-Bucks just for one battling. So I think the idea of bringing battling separately for an option to be able to purchase them is interesting. Now these were only common battlings, so I assume the rares would probably cost 300, the epics would cost 400, and the legendary battlings could cost up to 500 V-Bucks. That's just an assumption, that's not 100% confirmed at all, but assuming that's probably what's going to happen if they start to bring battlings out for like single purchases. I don't know if that's going to happen. It has already happened today, but they were only common ones. Could we expect it in the future? I'm not 100% sure, but I assume if they did do that, it would be pretty awesome and a lot of people would be happy about that. Now, the next topic is talking about the brand new Fortnite map, which apparently Ninja announced. I'll play a little clip of this for you guys right now. Guess what? I'm going to be headed to New York on March 16th to play with one of these guys in an epic siege match on a brand new map exclusive to Fortnite. That's right, a brand new map literally built for this event. So as you could hear from that clip, Ninja goes on to talk about how he's going to use a brand new map created for him at this upcoming event in March or midway through March. I'll keep you guys covered on it, but let's just talk a little bit about this because I've got something which is pretty interesting regarding this news. Now, for those wondering about the current kind of situation with this new map type thing, I don't think it is a brand new Fortnite map. Yes, he goes and says it like that, but I personally think it is a creative map created for him, not a Fortnite Battle Royale map. I doubt they're gonna create a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale map just to announce it on a stream with Ninja. I don't think that's the sort of thing they'd do. I think if they were going to create a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale map for the public, it would be created for E3 or a similar event to that. I don't think they'd announce it on a streamers type of thing. You know, I thought they may have announced it at maybe one of their competitions, maybe their World Cup or something, but I don't think they'll announce it on Ninja's stream. So that's what makes me think that either they've just taken like a segment from the map, they might just build like an island, you know, we have the islands that have recently been built. We have the brand new spawn island. We also have the playground island, which only spawns in on playground, but it spawns in over there. And the same with creative, it's a different island. I just feel like that's what they're gonna do. They're just gonna make their own creative island. It may have a different kind of terrain look to it, but it will be maybe introduced within creative in the future for people to build on. But I feel like it would just be say, for example, this mountain here, they'll just take this mountain, take that mountain over there, cut it out and just kind of make a map out of it. I don't think it'll be an entire Fortnite Battle Royale map. I just don't think Epic Games would do that. But you never know. I can't 100% confirm it. That is my opinion on that. But I just don't see it happening. The hype around it's been a little bit weird. You know, with Ninja announcing it and no one else announcing it, I just don't see it being a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale map, unfortunately. I know there's a lot of people messaging me about this saying, Pat, there's a brand new map coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. I just can't agree with it right now until I get more confirmation from files or from Epic Games themselves. You know, we've not had any other confirmation other than Ninja for this one. The idea when he says a new map makes me just feel like someone at Epic or someone maybe not at Epic, maybe like a build team, is creating him a creative map ready for this kind of event that he's hosting, which will just be like a kind of a battle royale version of a creative map. We may still have the battle bus, you know, Epic Games still have the power to kind of take a segment of a map. For example, look at the segment I'm looking at on screen right now. You take maybe Lonely Lodge, the trailer park, the abandoned mansion up there, and the race course. You'd cut that out with a pair of scissors and just make that a playing field for a few players. I feel like that's the sort of thing Epic Games are going to do, which again could link into future updates and future game modes, maybe a Team Deathmatch style game mode. I know we have Team Rumble, but when I say Team Deathmatch style game mode, it may be no spawn from the sky at all. You know, spawning from the sky just does my head in all the time. So imagine if you could just physically spawn on the ground instantly and they had like a Team Deathmatch type 
mode or maybe a capture the area or something. More of kind of a different style of game like Pants vs. Zombies. You know, Fortnite reminds me of that so much. So if they had like a game mode like that in Fortnite where there wasn't too much building, maybe you could build, say, 40 to 70 materials, a bit like the Ground War LTM. I feel like that's so a ground game, whatever it's called. I feel like that would work pretty well for an LTM like that. Maybe that's what they could be doing with ninjas type thing. They could be kind of experimenting with cutting out segments of the map just to make a separate kind of version of the game with it. I feel like that's where they're going to go with it. And that's my opinion. Leave a comment down below though what you guys think about this. It's an interesting topic. You know, seeing that Ninja was announcing it was really di different from like a Fortnite announcement. So that's it for me talking about the brand new map. I just don't see it happening. That's my opinion on it. But yeah, leave a comment down below. I do just think it's going to be a big announcement rather than a ninja announcement. That's my opinion on it. Anyway, so if you missed my map change video yesterday, you can go and check that out. I tore the brand new block for you guys. It's really awesome. I also got over a few other map changes, which I missed in past videos. Other than that, the only thing I can really talk about is the brand new spawn bands. It's kind of been confirmed that this is possibly going to be a thing that's going to pop in around mid-season 8. So I'm excited for it. You know, the bands are all over the map in creative mode. Fortnite still haven't taken them out of their creative mode. We'll soon be able to see this in the next major update. I know today some Xbox users like myself and probably every Xbox user out there, I assume, had to download a small content update. But I don't think it was a major content update. It's one of like the smaller ones. I've forgotten the two different names between the updates. There's like an actual downloadable update, like an official one, which is like 8.1. And this is only 8.01, so 8.01. So that's obviously not a major one uh, compared to the huge major one, which is probably out next week now so yeah we'll see if the vans get taken out of creative then or should i say replay and then if they do then we probably have a prediction that these are going to spawn in in the actual battle royale game but that's it for today's video don't forget to go and leave a like comment subscribe if you're new around here consider sticking around for daily fortnite content i really do hope you guys have enjoyed and once again this is postbox pat signing out